Okay, we're out on the field of dreams, and I've got a target, and it's out of the hole. Um, and it's a bit of a messy signal. Ugh. Yucky, yucky. But it sounded nice in the ground, so I thought maybe there's some iron in with it. So if you come onto it this way. I'm getting a sort of 9, 10, 11. So I'm, I'm guessing we've got a little tiny button. Probably spin buttons all day. Um, I think it's in there. No, it's not in there. It's down there somewhere. It's in here. Mm, that looks round. Let's have a look. It looks button-like as well. This isn't an absolutely tiny hammered coin. Hang on. Oh yeah, bingo ladies and gents. <laughs> that is an absolutely tiny hammered coin. Um, I, I guess this must be a, a farthing. I don't know if I've ever had a hammered farthing. Um, I think they do exist. I've had lots of hammered halfpennies, but this is much smaller. I found a Henry V halfpenny yesterday. I wonder what who this from. Which king is this? which is cool. Let's have a look. That way up. There we go. So we've got the king. And he's got an annulet down here and down here. So I'm guessing that's probably going to be Henry the Sixth annulet issue. Only because I've been looking at them. <laughs> in my book the other day but that's a total guess it could be anyone um, but that is absolutely tiny the tiniest tiniest hammered coin beautiful oh, I should be able to see where it was minted long done by the looks of it excellent <laughs> hammered coin oh to the next hole. <laughs>